can change the credits, just don't know if I should or not. I mean, if you're looking for an opinion, I would say that you probably... I mean, add your own credits in if you can, but I probably wouldn't change the credits of the people that actually made the game, to be honest. Especially because the credits are skippable. Congratulations, Lord Rogue! You've cleared this story! Oichi, are you, where are you talking to me from? Are you talking to me from, like, the void? Where are we? But many more adventures lie ahead. I mean, the stories of all the different warriors you've met so far are just beginning. Oh, but don't worry. Though your Link values will be reset, you'll still keep all your valuable items. And when you recruit warriors or Link with Pokemon that are registered in the gallery, the data you have built up with them will be carried over. Are, are you a programmer? What- you were like, what's happening here? By the way, this is how the gallery looks at the moment, Lord Rogue. Look at all of those numbers. The 199s annoy me. They really couldn't have programmed in one more Pokemon? Or actually, no. Reshram is the 200th Pokemon, isn't it? You're sure to meet a lot more warriors and Pokemon in the future, and I know that eventually the day will return to s The day that you return to center stage will come, Lord Rogue. I can read. I look forward to seeing you again soon. I will save the current play data. All right. Have I mentioned during this playthrough yet that I love the way Conquest sets up its storyline for doing all of the different stories and whatnot? After you finish the main one, all of it culminating into doing the two Heroes of Ransay at the very end. Of course, you don't have to do the two Heroes of Ransay as the very last one you do, but still. I love this. I love getting to choose all these. Do you normally only get eight to choose from at the start? I thought that they gave you more to choose from than this. But maybe it's just like after you do one, they unlock a ton more. All right, chat. Which, uh, which story do we want to do? It hit me. We should probably not do Iyasu and Hideyoshi because they're fairly long stories. And there is another patch of the game that I'll be getting before next stream that will fix some swarm Pokemon stuff. And so we probably don't want to do either of those right now because we could probably get a lot of perfect links here and there. I'm seeing a lot of people say Mitsunari to just beat up a bunch of children. I'm seeing a lot of people said Mitsunari. Let's just do Mitsunari. Not worth fighting over one. The tale of three good friends who became embroiled in a trivial argument. Who could have known where it would lead? Some trivial matter had caused Mitsunari, Kiyomasa, and Masanori to argue. I don't think they even tell you what they were arguing over at the end of this story, do they? They were literally just like, yeah, it was something stupid. We didn't even come up with a reason, which I respect. Unable to resolve their differences, the three went their separate ways, each to a different kingdom. That was not to be the last they would see of each other, however. No sooner do I become Warlord of Ignis than I hear word that those two are now Warlords of Fontaine and Greenleaf. But they are no match for me. I'll show them who's boss. All right, this is a really fast story, by the way. Unless username really cranked up the difficulty on this, I don't think this is going to take us more. I don't even think this is going to take us the rest of stream. We might have to start another story before stream is over. I'm immediately... Well, wait a minute. How do I beat Dano? I immediately want to go punch Oichi in the mouth because then we'll have a Hydrogen. <laughs> to be honest... I just actually don't know if I'll be able to beat Dano, but you know there's only one way to find out, because Bisharp is gonna, like, just destroy these normal types, and Charmeleon will insta-KO the Beldum. Go! Oh, I love this music. Alright, Oichi, I need that Hydrogen. Oh, I'll beat the Dano by using wooden logs! Of course, Dano's one weakness! Pieces of wood! Username, did you remove some of the logs from this map? I feel like there's normally 47 more logs on this map. In which case, probably a good call to lessen the amount, because my goodness, there used to be so many logs on this map. 
Like so many. I'll just crit Night Slash on the Dano if I have to. I think this Charmeleon guy I have is the up status effect one as well, so maybe we can burn it. If there are too many logs, how would you beat Dano? Good point. The logs are randomly placed and I removed some of them. Good call. We'll put that Jigglypuff there. What's your ability again? Yeah! This fight's not gonna last more than three turns. Can I one-shot these two? Not without a crit. Yeah, we'll do this. And then actually I'll have... Oh, easy crit. I was gonna I was gonna say I'll have Charmeleon kill the Jigglypuff before Oichi can sweet song, but this also works. Honestly, get to work on this yeah, five damage. This this is the problem, child. This Dano is gonna be the problem. Nom. Charmeleon wouldn't have recruited the Jigglypuff? That's a good point. I didn't consider that. I was just thinking about winning. You would crit. Blaze boost, though. I still think my Bisharp just wins this 1v1 anyway, so it's honestly fine. That Blaze boost did not help very much, did it? Didn't get the burn on either attempt or a flinch. I roll the Bidoof, or crit it, please. Nice. Yeah, Bisharp will win this 1v1. We're fine. Um, oh no, it's a hero! I didn't consider that! That actually might be a little bit of a problem. I doubt it will be. Hey, dodge. Rip. Alright, how much damage do you do with the Night Slash from behind? I think I still have one more turn of high crit. Oh, we've got nothing to worry about. Never mind. I thought we'd be doing like four or five damage. I forgot how strong Bisharp is. Yo, he do be a hero though. That is a little worrying. Oh, but you're just attacking me from the front because you're stupid, so we have nothing to worry about. Don't low roll. That defense up didn't help you at all, did it, buddy? All right, we had nothing to worry about with this fight, actually, it turns out. A pathetic opponent. Oh my word, almost 7% link gain, okay. Yeah, I don't need the Dano. Easy victory. All right, yeah, now we have a Hydrogen, so I don't really think there's anything we have to worry about anymore. I mean, like, the other two idiots should honestly just surrender. Ba -da -ba -ba. To the next month. This dude literally has a Skaroopy and a Whooper. That's his entire team. It's a Skaroopy and a Whooper. I'm like, I'm gonna go fight Kiyomasa first in hopes that, what's your name over here? I don't I can't look at it right now. In hopes that the other guy gets at least one other Pokemon to help him. I feel bad, almost. I mean, this story is always really easy. Especially if you already have the perfect links on the kids before you do it. I have a Hydreigon. Hey, username, I have another question. Is it possible for uh, for the hacks, could you change the type of stories? Or is that like way too complex? Like, could you make it where these three kids have like a recruit 100 warrior storyline instead of a just like, hey, beat up each other storyline? I don't see why you'd want to really. But is that like a thing? What would you say has been the best game, the change in the game so far? I don't think there's any one specific thing that stands out as like, oh, this was the big change. Just a bunch of small stuff that really adds up nicely. Bum, bum, bum. 
We can change that, but each story is hard-coded to have a certain map, so we can change the story type of the kids, but they'll only ever have the four kingdoms in their stories. Mmm, I see. That's unfortunate. Same with the ninjas in the beauty contests. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, there wouldn't really be any point in changing it at that point, even if you could. Because it's really the map type that makes most of the stories the way they are anyway, isn't it? A change like that would only really have an effect on uh, the ones that already have the full map available, like the Conquer the Kingdom or take the or get the 100 Pokemon or whatever. I would imagine. I have a Hydrogen, but I don't even need Hydrogen for this. Which is, you're actually gonna make me win here. Thank you. Idiot. Oh, I don't have the other banner yet. I, is it actually possible to win on the opponent's turn if that had been the last banner I needed? I don't think I've ever seen that happen. Each map type that aren't full maps are all just Unite All Kingdom stories? What about the, uh, do you have to unite all the kingdom? To, isn't there a story type where you have the full map where it's like get 100 warriors slash Pokemon in your army or whatever? Or get like 100 Pokemon in your party? Can't you do those without conquering the entire kingdom or do you still have to conquer the entire kingdom in those stories as well? I don't remember, it's been three years. Oh yeah, Kenshin and Shingen, they have the uh, just win five fight one. That one might actually be worth changing. Make it where you have to conquer the whole thing instead of just take five kingdoms, because man, taking the five kingdoms if you want to cheese it is so easy. Oh, you were saying any map that isn't the full map is just unite all the kingdoms. Yeah, 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 sorry, I misunderstood your message. It's my bad. I have a Pan Sage now. Next month. Select warriors to take into Fontaine. Yeah, by the way, this story is going to take like 20 minutes chat, so we're going to have to pick another one after this. Wait, did he have a third Pokemon? This won't take long. Bum, 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 bum. Oh my goodness, they have a sand dial now. I don't think I can do this. We also can't change the AI not invading till after May part. Interesting. That's a weird thing to be hard coded. I like there being a little portion of the game where you, like, can't get attacked, so you have a minute to, like, get your footing, but five months is too much. If I was on the dev team and I had control of that, I would just make it where they can't attack you in, like, the first two months. I would let them start attacking from, like, March onward. Hey, click this button. These poor idiots are not ready for Pan Sage, by the way. You have 69 life points, or hit points? Why did I say life points? What is this, Yu-Gi-Oh? 69 HP on Bisharp, I win. No, my accuracy. No, my Charmeleon! I need that! That's my button presser. Hello? Oh. You know, Bisharp victory in battle is all a matter of reason. In due course, all will become clear. Calm down there, Sophocles. It's just a Pokemon game. Have you ever played Fossil Fighters? No, but my goodness, if I had so many people ask me that question. 
I guess I'll have to one day. I get that question a lot. But no, I've never played. But did I say 37%? I became Hugh Neutron for a second there. I was so flabbergasted. No, I've never played Fossil Fighters. I've had people ask me if I have. I've had people ask me if I will play it and stuff. I'm going to be completely honest, which is something that I've been saying about Fossil Fighters for a while. I won't say that I'm never going to play it, but Fossil Fighters sounds ripe for game that people loved in their childhood. And then if I play it and don't like it, it's just going to be really annoying for me. You know. Because I've also heard people compare it to Spectrobes before. And boy, howdy, let me tell you, I love Spectrobes. I hate the Spectrobes DS games. I love Spectrobes Origins on the Wii, but I hate the DS games. I don't think they're very good. What's the goal of these campaigns for Conquest? Uh, all of them have their own unique goals. They normally boil down to conquer the entire map, and then maybe some other. Some of them have other special agendas on top of it. Victory! Bum, 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 bum. I win! I don't want any of you losers. You suck. You lost. Now do you get it? You two just aren't a match for me. Gah, your head is far too big for your own good. What happened to this guy's human physiology? He has become a gator. And yours aren't big enough, but I suppose you could be of some help to me nonetheless. Maybe serving under me would help those impoverished brains of yours to grow a little bit. Okay, dude, calm down. Ha, huh, he's insufferable. Look, if you want our help, just ask us. I want no such thing. Ah, so that's what you mean. For someone who's so clever, you're pretty hard to understand. This is why I set out on my own in the first place. Don't worry, come on, come with us. We'll go to the beach and have some fun. After Mitsunari won the conflict, the three became friends once more. What, did they actually, like, have a bare-knuckle brawl? Did they punch each other? Why? How did they get injured? Although it was just a matter of time before they would fall out again. Yo, look at these sick credits that I'm gonna skip. Skip. I will save my current play data, thank you. Alright, well, there you go, chat. First story took us roughly... Uh, 11 and a half hours. Second story, about 25 minutes tops. All right, chat. Kiyomasa's story not worth fighting f over two has been unlocked. Oichi's story, the Rose of Ransei has been unlocked. Nice. So that only unlocked two new stories for us. What story do we want to do now, chat? I got like 20 minutes left in stream. I blinked and I missed the second story, honestly. Oh, stretch! That feels good. We don't want to do Mitsu Hideyasu or Hideyoshi. I don't want to do, or Yukimura. We want to do one of the smaller ones, because I'm going to have that patch. Seen a lot of Kenshins. Ginchio. It's fine if we can't finish this story in the rest of stream. I should still be able to put on the patch and all anyway, even if we start next stream in the middle of the story, right? The patch just won't take effect until after the next story starts, which is fine. Bum, bum, bum. I think I might actually be able to do Kenshin in 20 minutes if we do it the cheap way. So let's let's do Kenshin. I should have read the thing. I didn't read the thing. My bad. For a long time, Ransei was divided between two great warlords, Shingen and Kenshin. The balance of power was always very delicately poised. Kenshin. Nemesis. How may it be of assistance? Wait a minute. Oh, no, wait, no. We can just avoid Shingen. I was about to say, how am I going to beat this buffed up Rhyperior with 
Gallade. Gallade sucks against this Rhyperior, but we can just not fight the Rhyperior. How may I be of assistance? This region isn't big enough for the both of us. We need to settle this once and for all. What do you say? First to win five battles can call themselves victorious. Why would you put this extra caveat on it instead of just saying like, first one to eliminate the other? Interesting. I accept your challenge. Kanatsugu. Yes, my lord. We shall show the righteousness of our army to the world. Let us begin, Nemesis. 